I'm Dixon Smith with the es and &E. I'm in the studio today with Terry Lawson, one of our automation network engineers. We're going to talk about our network services and a new device from Fluke that can make managing your network easier. Today we want to introduce Terry to those customers who may not have gotten a chance to meet him yet and to talk about a new tool from Fluke, the Network Link IQ. Terry, let's start out by talking a little bit about your role and what you do for our customers regarding networks. Thanks, Dixon. Like you said, I'm the Automation Network Engineer at es &E. We offer several network-related Rockwell ASP services. Those are network assessments, machine level network design, and security posture assessments. We also offer switch configuration and installation, network troubleshooting, network mapping, and documentation, just to name a few. Terry's been a tremendous addition to our team. What can Link IQ do for our customers as far as troubleshooting their networks? Dixon, this unit will actually perform two different tests in an environment. One is a cable test that tests the cable from end to end. The other is a switch test that performs a network connectivity test. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect device to check and diagnose connectivity issues caused by improper pinouts on ethernet connections, breaks and cabling, distance limitations, speed and duplex limitations or mismatches from one end to the other and improper VLAN settings on a switch port. Why is bandwidth, properly maintained and terminated cabling important in networks? In order to get the maximum bandwidth offered by the switch and endpoint device, there must be near air free communications from end to end. Initial testing and certification of infrastructure cabling when it's first installed is a great starting point. There are instances where over time from either improperly maintained cabling, the introduction of new cabling that hasn't been tested, inadvertent damage or environmental changes causing degradation of either the cable itself or electromagnetic inter interference near unshielded and ungrounded shielding cabling would cause network connectivity issues. Can you show me a quick demo on how this tool works with the switch and testing the cable? Absolutely. First, we'll connect up using the RJ45 cable and we'll just connect directly to the switch itself. In this case, we're testing on a Stratix 5700 switch, and we're just going to plug into one of the ports. So after we plug in, it's really simple. You just hit auto test. It'll come back and tell you what speed it's capable of. It'll also tell you, which is really good information, it'll tell you what switch port you're plugged into and the name of the switch which actually gives you good information if you're plugging into a, a switch port or a connection where you don't know where the, the end point is, this will actually tell you so you don't have to hunt down the switch itself. So that's a really good test there. Now we're just gonna do a simple network connectivity test on a cable itself. We're gonna put remote ID into the universal adapter. We're gonna auto test the cable itself. The device itself is smart enough to know if you're testing a switch or just a cable, a standalone cable. It's going to show us that all pinouts are good. It's going to show us that it's actually a shielded cable and it shows us that it's capable of at least 10 gigs and it passed the connectivity test. So those are two really good tests that this cable does in addition to PoE testing. And you can actually tone out from this device if you're actually searching for a cable that's not connected to a switch. How do switches come into play in a network? Switches, particularly managed switches, can have multiple roles in a network. Most importantly, since switches work on the data link layer or layer two of the OSI model, they allow traffic to be directed to specific ports rather than all ports. Switches can also be used to segment traffic using or utilizing VLANs or virtual networks. This cannot be accomplished with hubs or unmanaged switches. Can this instrument help with switch information as well? Absolutely it can. Assuming that the port is not administratively down, just as we've shown in the, the test we just did, it'll actually show you what port you're plugged into, the switch you're plugged into, 
the maximum port speed, the VLAN information, and PoE information if the switch is PoE capable. What is PoE? Great question, Dixon. PoE stands for power over ethernet. Many devices in the last 10 years or so, IP, phones, cameras, certain other devices, have the option of being powered over the same cable that sends and receives the data. What are some other features about this unit that you like? I particularly like the ease of which to run the multiple tests the unit offers. There really isn't much of a learning curve at all. Also, the ability to quickly find out information that cuts down a lot of troubleshooting issues. Two great examples are the ability to see exactly what port and what switch you're connected to. That in case there's a mislabeled cable, a mislabeled switch port. Also, the screen shows when you're testing the cable end to end, be it a mismatched pair of shorted wires. Other than the tester, what else comes with this tool? This model, which is the LIQ100-IE, in addition to the main test unit, comes with a quick reference guide, remote ID1, an RJ45 modular adapter, a universal coupler, an RJ45 to RJ45 patch cord, an M12D patch cord, an M12X patch cord, M8D patch cord, a male to female RJ45 patch cord, a hanging strap with a remote ID, a shoulder strap, and a duffel bag and carrying case. Well, thanks for being in the studio today with me, Terry. I hope everyone finds this video informative. Please let us know how we can help you with all of your networking needs.